Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. We have some viewer comments that we're actually addressing in some of the videos from this month. And in this video, we're gonna start with how to add the envelope icon back into Outlook for new mail. We've had several comments about this and we figured it was a great little video topic for you guys. Should be a pretty quick one, but before we get started with that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, Check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. Be sure to stick around to the end of today's video for a quick tip to add a little bit more productivity when you're using Outlook. All right, here we are on our Windows 11 Home. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open up Outlook to start and we'll take a look at our layout. All right, so once we're inside of Outlook, all we have to do is click over to File in the very top left. We're gonna go all the way down to Options. And then from here, click to the Mail tab. We're gonna scroll down just a little bit here. And we wanna make sure that Show an Envelope icon in the taskbar and Display a Desktop Alert are both checked. Assuming you want that, um, I would recommend it if you're using Outlook, especially for work. So with these two on, all we have to do is press OK. Now, if you already have these on and you're still not able to see that envelope icon for new mail. All right, so if you're still running into that issue, there is a second method that you can do and you can repair your Office application and it's not too difficult. We'll put this link here in the description for you guys. All you gotta do is press download on this blue button right here. We're gonna have a series of prompts within the application. So let me go ahead and download this and I'll show you guys how this works. Okay, so I'm gonna run this EXE. First, we have to install the uh, Recovery Assistant application. So we'll click Install and then we'll agree to the license agreement. We'll press Yes on the pop-up. And this tool here is pretty much gonna do the rest of the work for us. In the case of my installation, I have Office 2019 installed. I would select this and I would press next. I don't actually need to uninstall Office, so I won't be doing that, but you follow through the rest of the prompts on this and then you'll be reinstalling Office. And if you wanna learn how to reinstall Office, we've got several video tutorials covering that and we'll put the link in the corner for you guys. All right, so as promised, the last thing we're gonna show you guys in this video is our number one tip for Microsoft Outlook. And that's gonna be quick steps. So you can automate somewhat repetitive tasks with quick steps fairly easily. And so we'll go ahead and I'm just searching for it in the search bar here and I'll press quick steps. We're going to hover this and press create new. Now for me, the most common thing in this email is actually just going to be to delete a message. So we're going to select delete message. And then over here, we're going to create our shortcut key. Control shift one sounds great. And then we can give ourselves a little bit of text, maybe a text reminder. And I'll just put delete email. And I'll press finish. So control shift one is gonna be, if I hit these together, just like that, key bind, I can very, very quickly delete emails. So hopefully that's a really helpful tip for you guys to help you speed up your flow a little bit in Outlook. So that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions or comments about this whole process, drop those in the comments section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description box below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.